Global Underwater Explorers is a nonprofit organization dedicated to the protection and preservation of the aquatic realm. GUE initiatives include a revolutionary diver training system, producing some of the most efficient and capable divers in the world. These divers are distinguished by their commitment to the preservation of the aquatic realm and the cutting edge exploration activity that supports their research. Global Underwater Explorers, or GUE, came out of a vision among many of us to try to integrate our passion for diving and this sort of research and exploration world, which in some sense are often disconnected for most people. GUE is a very broad-based organization, so we have a heavy conservation, research, exploration initiative, so our desire is to protect and conserve the aquatic environment that we love, in addition to a very vivid and vibrant training component. So the organization really merges those in under one roof, allowing individuals opportunity to access all of those and also give back to each. So scientists can give back to diving, uh, dive training and dive passion. And the other way around, divers who are excited about dive training and uh, who just enjoy diving have an opportunity to give back into the aquatic preservation component as well. GUE's members act on the credo of thinking globally by acting locally. Near their birthplace in Tallahassee, Florida, GUE divers and researchers have conducted extremely demanding technical dives for nearly two decades. These dives require underwater exposures at more than 10 hours at 300 feet, together with a decompression time of more than 15 hours. These excursions result in total immersion times of approximately 25 hours. We've got probably the most significant and focused research going on in Wakulla Springs to any in the world. That cave system is the most instrumented and studied cave system in the world now. Early on, the primary focus of the WKPP was to explore and map. Over the years, that has evolved for a variety of reasons to not only explore and map, but also educate the public and ultimately provide information to people, uh, resource managers, uh, those uh, at the state level who can make decisions that are ultimately going to protect and preserve this resource for future generations. GUE helps communities redefine how they view their natural surroundings, spearheading local research, expanding public awareness, and igniting community support for ongoing protection of local resources. For example, GUE collaborations encourage the city of Tallahassee to fund a $200 million advanced wastewater treatment facility. This success is being used as a model to confront environmental problems around the globe. I believe that GUE's role in environmental conservation is threefold. First, to train divers to be better in the environments that they recreate in so that they don't cause as much destruction as we know that divers are causing uh, around the world. Second is to support projects that are establishing a permanent positive presence in the local ecosystems that they're operating in. And then third is to encourage the membership to contribute to those, uh, to those activities. Passion is a key ingredient along the path to creating meaningful change. GUE projects serve to inspire passion for the splendor of our natural surroundings. Some projects do this through environmental activism. Some are devoted to culture or history. It's one of the exciting things about diving often is we get to uh, really engage in a very exciting range of history. Everything from caves that are millions of years old to wrecks that are hundreds of years old and artifacts sometimes that are thousands of years old. So it's really kind of walking through time and it's, uh, well, in our case, floating through time. The GUE Britannic Expedition in Greece featured multiple extended duration dives to a depth of 120 meters or 400 feet. The extended exploration of the Britannic, the sister ship of the Titanic, allowed detailed analysis, helping to illuminate the circumstances contributing to its sinking. GUE collaborated with Italy's Ministry of Culture, exploring ancient wreck sites off the coast of Sicily. GUE divers working in 75 meters or 250 feet of water documented dozens of ancient amphorae. The Pantelleria project in Italy was an exciting cultural investigation for us and we wanted to document and ultimately bring up uh, ancient amphora uh, for museum preservation. In the Baltic Sea, GUE divers are documenting the wrecks from Hitler's invasion of Norway in 1940. 
Ongoing exploration projects in Sweden and Norway document wrecks of unique origin or those of historical significance. For example, GUE carefully documents historical wooden wrecks preserved by the cold waters of the Baltic Sea. Other projects strive to preserve the historical significance of World War II wrecks in the Norwegian fjords. You can spot a global underwater explorer right away. The streamlined profile in the water, the horizontal diving posture, and the precise propulsion techniques. GUE's distinctive methods produce some of the most safety-conscious team-oriented divers in the world. These days, GUE is best known for its unique training methods, but its revolutionary system is just an organic extension of what GUE has always been about. The founders of GUE all grew out of cave diving where that was so mandatory in that environment to have perfect buoyancy and trim and to use the right kicks in the right environment so that you didn't destroy the visibility and then get lost and, and not be able to find your way out. And so it made sense to us that if that's important in, in the cave environment, why is it not important in every environment? GUE techniques help keep our scientific divers safe by giving them a skill set that allows them to concentrate on their uh, science and not have to concentrate on the diving. The skill set is one that allows us to move around the reef without impacting the reef and still study uh, the environment, which is you know, why we're there. That type of mastery is going to help me um, just be a more relaxed diver. I mean, I dive to have fun. The more relaxed I can be, the more fun I'm going to have. The less stress I have, the longer bottom times, the more I can see. The GE courses that I've been doing recently are the best diving courses I've ever done. I film underwater, that's my job, and uh, it made it a lot better. They teach you tricks that no one's ever told us before. Once you go through the course, I think it's going to make you a better diver no matter where you go around the world. It's a uniform way of training. You have the same equipment, same strategies, and you learn how to work together. And you enjoy your diving. It's that much safer and that much more fun. After diving six years professionally, I thought I knew, knew a lot. After doing the fundamentals course, I realized that there's a whole new level of diving out there, and uh, GUE have offered it to me. We have the world's largest playground out here on these reefs, and I see too many divers bouncing up and down on the reef and not being aware of where they are in the water at any given time, and that causes injury to the reef. I would definitely recommend GUE to any type of diver for the simple reason that it's going to help them fine tune the buoyancy, it's going to help them enhance their skills, give them a level of comfort in the water that they've never achieved and experienced before. GUE's training is unique because it enables people to be involved in both education, exploration, and research within the same organization from the beginning of their training throughout their entire career. I think when, you know, when we talk about GUE and its emphasis, it's, it's hard to sort of focus it on any one area. So uh, for me, training is a vital and vibrant part of the GUE organization. Uh, however, uh, research and exploration are an equally vibrant part of the organization. And I'm quite happy for people to be involved in any part of those things that they want. The role of divers in conservation and uh, GUE divers is, is to educate, and pure and simple, is to, to, to take what they're seeing underwater and then bring that back to the public in a systematic way to try to promote the protection of that environment. All meaningful action springs from the support of passionate advocates. Global Underwater Explorers promotes environmental conservation by integrating a community comprised of divers, researchers, and explorers. These advocates expand the success of GUE programs by joining its membership, refining their dive technique in our classes, joining our projects, and by donating to GUE's nonprofit initiatives. We hope you will consider support for GUE, inaugurating a new era in the interaction between people and the underwater world. Share the passion. Contact GUE today.